first step is to determine the correct range. This is based on probe type and highest set point on the probe. Reference section 3.1, pages 16 and 17 in the manual. Apply power and verify that the power LED is lit. Now we are going to set relays one, two, and three to high level by moving these toggles to the right, HLFS. We're gonna raise level to the lowest set point on our probe. After that is done, turn the delay counterclockwise until you feel resistance. Don't turn that too hard, otherwise you can break it. Okay, we are going to now turn Relay 1's set point counterclockwise until the LED is out. We're going to do the same with Relay 2 set point. We're going to do the same with Relay 3 set point. Now that all three are out, we are going to turn our differential cowl on. Move the toggle to the right. Take your differential cowl pot, marked DIF, turn it counterclockwise until you feel resistance or hear it clicking. Ours is all the way counterclockwise. Now we're going to turn differential cowl off. Relay 1, we're going to turn clockwise until the LED is lit. And now I'm going to slowly go counterclockwise until it goes off. And then go back clockwise just until it comes on. Again, going very slowly. Okay, now we need to raise our level to pump stop. Okay, we are going to turn Relay 2's set point slowly clockwise until Relay 2 LED is illuminated. So there it was. We're going to go back counterclockwise very slowly and then go clockwise again. This is just making sure that we've tuned that pot exactly where we want it. There we go. Okay, now we're going to raise level to pump start. Once we are at the pump start, we are going to switch the differential tab back to on. We're going to use the differential set point right here until relay two is illuminated. We are going to go clockwise. There it is. Now we're going to go counterclockwise very slowly until it comes out. And then go clockwise very slowly. Again, this is just tuning the pot to make sure we're exactly where we want to be. There we go. Okay, we're going to now turn the differential switch off. And we're going to raise our level to the high, high level. Okay, we're going to turn relay three set point clockwise slowly until relay three's LED is illuminated.
counterclockwise until it just goes off and clockwise again okay now at this point you can leave this lit but the level is going to have to come slightly higher in order to send that alarm or you can set it back down so it is just off and then you'll trip right at your at the point that you have set we're going to change relay one to low level fail safe because that's how we have this set up okay now we're going to run level out of the vessel to watch the LED changes. Okay, so relay three just alarmed, or just went out of alarm. Relay one is out of alarm now. Relay 2 is still an alarm, and she'll be coming out of alarm when we hit pump stop. There, Relay 2 is out of alarm. And we'll be coming down onto our low level where you'll see Relay 1 go into alarm. There it is. That's calibrating the multipoint.